in the last lesson we learned the process of multiplication in this lesson we will see some interesting examples on this everyone has gone to the fair the fair has a variety of entertainment there is a huge ferris wheel in the fair this ferris wheel can seat 22 people at a time the ferris wheel operates 12 times a day raju and bablu are looking at this ferris wheel raju asks bablu how many people can sit in this ferris wheel in a day children can you find the answer to raju's question at a time 22 people can sit in it and the ferris wheel operates 12 times a day how do we write this in the form of multiplication 12 times 22 but we have only learned to multiply a two digit number with a single digit number how do we calculate this now come let us learn to multiply two two digit numbers how can we split 12 10 and 2 we will write it this way and how can we now split 22 20 and 2 we will write it this way now we first multiply the 2 of 12 by 20 of 22 20 times 2 is 40 we will write this answer here now we multiply 10 by 20 20 times 10 is 200 we will write this answer here now we multiply 2 of 22 by 2 of 12 that's 2 times 2 is 4 finally multiply 2 of 22 by 10 of 12 what would we get 20 now it's very easy adding 200 40 20 and 4 is our answer 264 following this method we got 12 times 22 is 264 got it a total of 264 people can sit in the ferris wheel in a day while going around the fair raju and bablu stopped at the game stall which had the balloon bursting game bablu asked raju why not buy themselves and for their friends tickets to this game bablu and raju counted the number of people including both of them there are 17 people the cost of one ticket for the balloon bus game is rupees 15 raju and bablu are unable to calculate how much money they will have to pay to buy the required number of tickets come children let us help bablu and raju once again this time let's learn to perform this multiplication using a different process first we will write multiplication this way now we will multiply 5 of 15 by 7 of 17 did you get it 35 can we write both the digits of 35 as a single digit number no so what shall we do now we will use carry over to write 3 of 35 as a carry over and write the 5 in units place like this 
Now we multiply one of seventeen by five of fifteen. Got it? Five. But we also have three of the previous carryover. So what shall we do now? We will add three and five to find the answer. Done. Eight. We will write it like this. Now we will cancel the carried over three so that we don't make a mistake of counting them again. Now we will multiply the one of fifteen by the digits of seventeen from right to left. We will write it in the second row. Before starting the multiplication process, we write a zero like this in the unit space. First, we multiply one by seven. Is it done? Seven. We will write it like this. Now, finally, one is multiplied by one. That's one. We will. Write it like this. Now it's very easy. Simply add one hundred seventy to eighty-five. What do we get? Two hundred fifty-five. Doing this, we get our answer. Seventeen fifteens are two hundred fifty-five. Raju and Bablu will have to pay a total of two hundred fifty-five rupees. Raju and Bablu and their friends had a lot of fun at the fair. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples on the process of multiplication. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes we make in the process of multiplication.